Hey world, it's your Royal Diva and this is Five Minutes for the Culture. Today we have... Valentino Goodin. Tino Goodin. Back down, baby. Okay, so Five Minutes questions all about how Valentino and his artistry fits in with the culture. What is the culture? Like, what does that mean? What is the culture? To me, what's the culture? For you, what's the culture? It's the way we think, the way we talk, the way we dress, our music. What we say, what we eat, what we do, everything is got to come into with the spirit that we bring to the culture. Okay. So, now if you come into the culture and you're just trying to take and not bring, mm -hmm. now nah, you can't be a part of the culture. But if you bring something, love, and you come in with, the, with a good spirit, you definitely can be a part of the culture. So if they embrace our culture exactly. and not try to change. So how did you start this music thing? Like I recorded my first song in 1997 when my father passed away. So after that, I recorded off. Diddy, I'll be missing you. Mm -hmm. So when I recorded that, it just it, it awoke in something in me, and I just started doing music ever since then. Speaking of 1997, I got a funny story about Valentino. <laughs> we graduated eighth grade in 1999. Right. Tino sat next to me in English, <laughs> and all day long. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> I said, if he don't be a rapper when he grow up, my eighth grade year was wasted. So thank you for saving my eighth grade year. Appreciate you for listening. I appreciate you. All artists wanted somebody. Yeah, that's all we wanted. Yeah, hey, yeah he had both. Like, what's your feel? What's your thing? What do people know about the team? Good energy. So my name is Valentino. Good energy. We put out good energy. And the, the thing that I really noticed is for my music. We do something called, well, I created something called Gangsta Godly. So my music is gangsta and godly. It's giving you both sides. It's not giving you just the gangster side, it's giving you the godly side. It ain't just giving you the godly side, it's giving you the gangster side. So I think my music is balanced. First of all, it's a wonderful time to be alive because all the things that's going on is bringing us together. So I don't know what everybody else's friends talk about. My friends talk about building things, uh, putting money together. And, and make something better and increasing our wealth. So this is the time when we thinking like, okay, as you, we see what's going around in, 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 uh, in the country. You see what's going around in our neighborhoods. You see everything. Now we trying to build. So that's what my music talking about. Building, having something, contributing to something. So I think it ties in good. I'm happy, I'm happy with, with, with what I talk about in this current climate. Okay, cool, because I know certain artists like my favorite artist, Stevie Wonder, um, artists like John Lennon, Aretha Franklin, they all have kind of been the voice of the movement of whatever that time was. See, that's what Columbia said, off of the time you lived in. That's their slogan. So, you know, I've always been using, that's always in the back of my, my mind, off of the time that we live in. I want to make sure that my music, my sound, is, is, is going to be heard in years to come. They're going to be talking about this time, and they're going to be talking about what's going on. And they're going to hear it through the music. That's y'all, Chicago State. Uh, woo woo. <laughs> like, <too. laughs> Um, speaking of Chicago State, we kind of did some awesome things out there. Um, for a moment, I was the program director yeah. of the radio station out doing there. Your You've done some shows yeah, out yeah. there with us. Putting on for Chicago music. Yeah. You doing your thing. I appreciate it. So what are you doing right now? I'm working on a new project uh, with, my, with my homie JB Hookmaster. He's in New Jersey. So we, we've been doing this project for the last three years, and I promise you, this is going to be a classic. They're going to be talking about this album 20 years from now. It's going to be one of the top 10 albums of all time. The reason why is storytelling, it's passion, it's love, it's everything that you need in an album. You lived in China for a moment. Yeah. I was in China. I was in China for a year and a half, and I went down there to do my album. It was a culture shock, you know? It was a culture shock. It was different. But what I did learn from living in China, the whole world loves our music. The whole world loves black culture. The whole world loves black culture. You know, they might ne not necessarily know how to say it and know how to do it, mm -hmm. but they know it. Mm -hmm. And I did shows, I did different things out there. They, they love our culture. And I had a wonderful experience. I learned a lot. It woke me up to the fact that people be in a bubble and they might not see different things mm -hmm. all the time. And just to meet somebody that never saw a black person before is different. <laughs> yeah, like, that's because we come thinking like we, we, we see everybody, we live here. So mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta take that into consideration. We able to see people and hear different cultures and, and see different That's what's up. So you were kind of a voice for the people all the way over there. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't probably understand everything. Right, right, right. <laughs> but I definitely they was a boy, and, and they could feel my spirit because everywhere I go, they knew who I was. When I come into a restaurant, they knew exactly what I wanted. I conducted myself like a king, and they treated me like a king. So mm -hmm. everywhere I go, you're going to have to treat me according to where I treat you. So I had a good experience. Some people may not, but I had a real good experience. If anybody else get a chance to go, go to Thailand, go to Phuket, mm -hmm. and that's probably where I want to retire. So wait, it's pronounced Phuket? 
because I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's Phuket. Phuket. <laughs> okay, it's not. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. My inspiration for music probably is to make sure that people can understand there's two sides to everything. Music for me is balance. You gotta have some good, you gotta have some bad, you gotta have some godly, you gotta have some gangster. So, so my inspiration is to let the people know that you have to have balance in this room. Um, I'll mute you down the line. And, and I wanna write my name in history.